Hello and welcome to the Edward Jones Reporter Inbox. I'm T.R. Sullivan, the Rangers reporter for MLB.com, and we have a lot of good questions to answer for you, so let's get right to it. Our first question here is, who do you have the most confidence in regaining their old form, Drew Smiley, Ed Edison Volquez, or Shelby Miller? And we're here under the Luke Air Force Base uh, fighter jets. But anyway, if you look at all three of those guys, they're all coming back from Tommy John surgery. Um, Shelby Miller, I think, is a guy who's young. He's a power arm. He, he was on his way to being a frontline number one starter for the St. Louis Cardinals. I think this guy has a chance to be outstanding if he gets his if he gets his uh, health back and he's looked good this spring. I would say he's number one on my list. Drew Smiley right behind him. Another guy, young, left-handed, has always been a great prospect. The Seattle Mariners, the Chicago Cubs, they all had a lot of faith in him. Unfortunately, he had the Tommy John surgery. But when this guy's right, he's a very effective left-handed pitcher. Edison Volquez, you know, he's 34, 35 years old, a veteran guy. Um, he knows how to pitch. He's a little, he's been around a little longer than those other two guys. So right now, I would say Shelby Miller, I think, has a chance to be a 200-inning guy and a big impact pitcher for the Texas Rangers. All right, next question. Will Jose LeClerc be a top five closer by the end of the season? I think this kid pitched unbelievable last year if you looked at what he did in august and september when he took over as the closer after they traded keller to the pirates he did a fabulous job he's a top five guy he's going to be close there's a lot of good ones out there but this kid has really made a lot of progress you know the big thing was with him was he, he dropped the walks got his command together um just cut his walks in half he was like eight per game or eight per nine innings and he got it down to four per nine innings the stuff played up he was just outstanding. He's going to be a good one. I think he's going to be one of the elite closers as he goes forward in the game. Will it be this year, next year? You know, I, I, have, I have a high ceiling for this kid. Um, How is Chris Woodward's first spring training gone? Well, they're undefeated, so, you know, before the regular season started, so it's gone well. A lot of communication here, a lot of meetings, a lot of positive vibes. The players have really taken to him. He's really stressed communication both to the players and from the players. He tries to listen to them, tries to really get a grasp of what they're, what they're all about, um, what their goals are going forward, what they need to do to get better. A lot of data, a lot of analytics. that He uses those to show the guys, hey, this is what you're doing. This is what your swing looks like. This is what the results look like. This is what you need to improve. So he's been good in that regard. So I think the communication part of this whole camp has been the biggest highlight of this. All right, next one. Is Joey Gallo going to be in the home run derby? He's certainly excited about it. You, you all know the rule changes. You all know that there's much more incentive for the players to be in this home run derby. We all know that people have wanted to see Joey uh, be in the home, der home run derby for a long time. The only thing about Joey is he wants to be a legitimate all-star. He doesn't want to go there just because he's a home run guy and hit the ball out of the ballpark. He wants to be a legitimate all-star and get selected on, on the merits of his play, not the fact that he can just hit the ball out of the ballpark. But if he gets a chance, Joey, Joey does definitely want to be in the home run derby, and I guarantee you every fan in the country will want to see this guy in the home run derby. Um, also, next, who has taken over the leadership role now that Adrian Beltre is gone? Now, that's an interesting question, and uh, everybody wants to know that. You know, I think we all have talked about Elvis Andrus. We know Elvis is a, um, you know, very outgoing guy, likes to talk, really a uh, guy that his uh, teammates really gravitate to. Shinsu Chu's a little more quiet but very smart. Uh, players look to him for uh, leadership and wisdom. Uh, his veteran leadership, but there's a lot of guys in there, a lot of interesting guys in there. I think Jeff Mathis, very quietly, is going to be a leader on this team. Um, Jeff, Jeff's been around. I think the pit pitchers really like throwing to him. He's going to be a guy, but also you got to look at Nomar Mazar. This guy carries a lot of weight in that clubhouse. Very strong, silent type, but the players really respect him. I think when you when you look at this answer to this question, I, I'm telling you right now, I think Nomar Mazar is really going to emerge as a strong leader for this ball club. I really like his style, and I like the way the players uh, gravitate to him. All right, here's the big one that everybody wants to know. Will Hunter Pence make the opening day roster? The answer to that question is yes. I mean, this is a guy who's had a great camp. He's shown all the adjustments that he needs to make as far as, you know, the swing. Um, he's a right-handed hitter. You know, the Rangers are left-handed, dominant in the middle. You know, 
Mazzara, Gallo, Ronald Guzman, Rugnet Odor, Shinsu Chu. They could use a right-handed presence maybe, you know, against a tough left-hander like Chris Sale. You know, the big thing about Hunter Pence is he's going to have to adapt to a part-time role. We all know he's been a star player, a big part of the, um, the Giants' success in 12 and 14. You know, if he can adjust to a part-time role, I think he could have an impact on this ball club. Uh, who will be the starting third baseman? Uh, Astrubal Cabrera was the guy they signed. He's, he's looked very good at spring training. He's got that big, big bat. He can hit 15, 20 home runs. They really like this guy. Um, really fits in well with the clubhouse. Cabrera's going to take over at third base. Will he be Adrian Beltre? Of course not. But this guy can make the plays at third base, give a little power in the middle of the lineup, 15, like I said, 15, 20 home runs, maybe 75, 80 RBIs. This guy should help this ball club. Um, why in the world did they send <laughs> Matt Davidson down? Look, they, they wanted to see if he could pitch. And, you know, he could be a part-time emergency pitcher. But what they really think is this guy's got some serious power. I mean, this guy can really drive the ball. He's got a lot of strikeouts. You know, he had 46 home runs for the uh, White Sox the last two years, had like 360 strikeouts or something like that. This guy, if he can get his swing together, cut out the swing and the miss, really, really, you know, develop a better approach to the plate. They really think this guy could be a late bloomer. And the Rangers know what those look like because they had Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz, you know, they let Nelson Cruz go early in his career. They didn't think he was going to develop the way he did, but he was a late bloomer. We all saw what he did with the Rangers on the World Series. He's still doing it. He's still an all-star. The Rangers think Matt Davidson can be a, the same kind of a guy who develops late if he can cut down the strikeouts and really harness that power. Um, what are the chances of Bartolo Colon signing before the start of the season? Uh, I think Bartolo has had a great career, a lot of milestones, but I think uh, Bartolo, I think, is probably not going to pitch again. I think he's, I think he's done everything he can, can do in the baseball game. I know he still wants to pitch, but I don't think it's going to happen. So um, another one. Which minor league pitcher are you most excited about as a future top of the rotation guy? Wow, they got a, they got three or four of them that they really like. Um, Joe Palumbo is a left-handed guy that, you know, he's coming back from Tommy John surgery, but this guy's got a lot of talent. Brock Burke is a the guy they picked up from Ray, from the Tampa Bay Rays in that big jerks and pro far trade. He has really looked impressive this spring. He got sent out, um, but he's going to be pitching down in the minor leagues, he's not going to be far away. He'll be at double A, but this is a guy that they really like. So I'd say Palumbo and Brock Burke are the two guys that I think the Rangers are really looking forward to seeing how much progress they can make this year. They'll both be at double A, but they could come quickly. So anyway, that's our uh, that's all we got on the uh, Texas Rangers. Thank you for uh, watching the Edward Jones Reporters Inbox, and hopefully we'll get to do it again later this season. Thank you very much.